pounds. It's unbelievable. So, GarageBand for iPad. Great set of features. Again, this is no toy. This is something that you can really use for real work. This is something that I cannot tell you how many hours teenagers are going to spend making music with this and teaching themselves about music with this. GarageBand for iPad, $4.99. It will be on the App Store on March 11th. So, iPad 2, an amazing product, faster, lighter, thinner, cameras and gyro, iOS 4.3 with built-in FaceTime and Photo Booth, iMovie and GarageBand for $4.99 each on the App Store, over 65,000 apps that have been tuned for the iPad to take advantage of all its resources. 3G on AT&T and Verizon from day one. The same 10-hour battery life, the same prices starting at $4.99. Black and white, smart covers. We think 2011 is clearly going to be the year of iPad 2. Now, we made a video that I'd love to show you, and so let's go ahead and roll the video. With iPad 2, We've made advances in both form and function that are so significant and far-reaching. I can't think of a product that has defined an entire category and has then been completely redesigned in such a short period of time. It's amazing to think that just a year ago, very few people had actually held an iPad in their hands. And now, with iPad in the hands of millions of consumers, it truly has become a blockbuster post-PC device iPad 2 really builds on the success of the original iPad. It's a third thinner and up to 15% lighter. It has an all-new dual-core A5 chip, which is up to twice as fast with up to nine times the graphics performance. We built in a front-facing camera for FaceTime and photo booth and a rear-facing camera that shoots HD video. And we've been able to do all of this while still maintaining up to 10 hours of battery life. The iPad 2 really is defined by the display. There are just no distractions. By reducing what were essentially three surfaces to two, we got rid of the structural wall around the perimeter of the product and eliminated the edge. It's not only more comfortable to hold, but with the breakthroughs we've made with unibody engineering, it's rigid, sturdy, and even more precise. While the back of the product is made of durable aluminium, we wanted to figure out a way to protect the display without compromising the iPad's size and weight. So rather than developing a separate case, we created a cover at the same time that we were actually designing the iPad. The two are made to work together. It attaches magnetically, it aligns perfectly, and it's just as easy to remove. When the iPad detects you've opened the cover, it immediately wakes from sleep. And when you close the cover, it puts it back to sleep. You can also fold the cover to create a stand for typing or watching a video. And the microfiber internal lining was even designed to help keep the display clean. There are 10 colors, five in polyurethane and five in a beautiful aniline dyed leather. We're constantly working to refine and improve, to simplify, to make something thinner and lighter, and yet at the same time, increasing its functionality. With an all-new front-facing camera, we brought FaceTime to the iPad. It's everything you love about video calling on the iPhone 4, but better. The big iPad display really changes the FaceTime experience. At this size, everything is so much clearer and more expressive. There's a rear-facing HD video camera, so you can share the moments you're seeing as they're happening. 
but FaceTime is just the beginning. We optimized the iOS to take advantage of the A5 dual core chip. And we're introducing new apps that really leverage all this processing power, like Photo Boot. It's so simple to use, and it's just ridiculously fun. With the new rear-facing HD video camera, iMovie is just a natural on the iPad. The display is so big that there's plenty of room to edit your video. And when you're done, your movies look awesome on the big, beautiful display. GarageBand is an absolute blast. You can use your own instruments, or you can just use the touch instruments that are built in. And those are integrated so well into the iPad that as you tap harder, it plays louder. It just reacts to what you're doing. When you're playing guitar, you can bend the strings. It's just amazing. You don't have to be a musician to use it. Just open it up, start tapping away, you're making music. Recently, we added new ways to share the content on your iPad. With AirPlay, you can share movies, photos, and music right to your Apple TV. And now we're adding video mirroring. Just connect your iPad to your HD TV, and it'll mirror exactly what you're doing on your iPad in any orientation and in full 1080p. We've done things with this iPad that we never could have done before. And it's because there's a lot of new innovation driving it. It starts with the new dual core A5 chip. That's added a lot more speed to things you do every day, like surfing the web, sending email, and multitasking. In fact, it's up to twice as fast. But the place we've made the biggest jump is with graphics, with performance that's up to nine times faster. You'll really notice this in games and apps that use a lot of data. And for the first time, we built a gyro into this iPad. That gives you very precise control in multiple dimensions, and it allows us to really measure the orientation of the iPad in space. These new components and features add all kinds of possibilities when it comes to apps. And even though we've boosted the performance, we haven't compromised on battery life. The new iPad still gets a full 10 hours, and that's a major achievement in a design this thick. With all that we've added to iPad 2, the thinner, lighter design, the amazing dual-core A5 chip, front and rear cameras, and the smart cover, this really is a giant leap forward. The original iPad defined a category, and I think that the iPad 2 will really define that category for years to come. I've said this before, I thought it was worth repeating. It's in Apple's DNA that technology alone is not enough. That it's technology married with liberal arts, married with the humanities, that yields us the result that makes our hearts sing. And nowhere is that more true than in these post-PC devices. And a lot of folks in this tablet market are rushing in, and they're looking at this as the next PC. The hardware and the software are done by different companies, and they're talking about speeds and feeds, just like they did with PCs. And our experience in every bone in our body says that that is not the right approach to this, that these are post-PC devices that need to be even easier to use than a PC, that need to be even more intuitive than a PC, and where the software and the hardware and the applications need to intertwine in an even more seamless way than they do on a PC. And we think we're on the right track with this. We think we have the right architecture, not just in silicon, but in the organization to build these kinds of products. And so I think we stand a pretty good chance of being pretty competitive in this market. And I hope that what you've seen today gives you a good feel for that. Now, I'd like to take just a minute at the end. I'd like to ask all the people uh, that worked on iPad 2 
from engineering to ops to marketing to finance from Apple. If you guys could just stand up so we could give you a round of applause. As always, uh, I'd also like to thank everyone's families because they support us and let us do what we love to do. So thank you very much to our extended families out there who make it possible uh, for us to work our tails off making these great products for you. So thanks for coming this morning. We've, uh, We've got a great hands-on area, and I'd really encourage you, go get your hands on one of these things. You won't believe it. Thank you very much.